in the tranquil town of Nazareth, nestled amidst the rolling hills of Galilee, resided a young maiden named Mary. Her heart was pure and her spirit kind, and she lived a life devoted to God. One evening, as Mary sat in her chamber, deep in prayer, a radiant light filled the room, and an angel of the Lord appeared before her. The angel, whose name was Gabriel, greeted Mary with a warm and comforting voice. He told her that she had found favor with God and that she would be the mother of the Messiah, the long-awaited savior of humanity. Mary was startled and overwhelmed by this news. She was a humble maiden, and she could not comprehend how she could be chosen for such a momentous task. The angel reassured her, explaining that the Holy Spirit would come upon her and that the power of the Most High would overshadow her. With a deep breath, Mary surrendered to God's will. She placed her trust in the Lord, knowing that He would guide her and protect her throughout her journey. The angel Gabriel then departed, leaving Mary in a state of awe and wonder. Mary pondered the angel's words, her heart filled with a mixture of joy and trepidation. She knew that her life would never be the same, and she was determined to fulfill her role as the mother of the Messiah. News of Mary's pregnancy soon spread throughout Nazareth, and her betrothed, Joseph, was troubled by the news. He loved Mary deeply, and he could not understand how she could be pregnant without him. That night, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. The angel told Joseph not to fear, for Mary's pregnancy was the work of the Holy Spirit. He explained that Mary would give birth to a son and that the child would be called Jesus, for he would save his people from their sins. Joseph awoke from his dream with a renewed sense of peace. He understood that Mary was innocent and that the child she carried was the Son of God. He embraced Mary and vowed to protect her and her child. Together, Joseph and Mary faced the challenges that lay ahead. They traveled to Bethlehem to register for the census, and it was there, in a humble manger, that Mary will give birth to the baby Jesus, 